Today we're going to make these concrete planters using 3D printed molds. I designed this project in Fusion 360, and I started by creating models of a plastic container and a bottle cap, which I used to form the insides of the concrete planters. I sketched out a profile, making sure that the concrete would be thick enough all around the cavity until I found a general shape that I was happy with. User parameters and properly constrained dimensions came in super handy here to make little tweaks to the overall shape. I wanted to take full advantage of the possibilities offered by 3D printed molds by sculpting the planters into a slightly more complex shape. By using a sphere as a cutting tool and turning it into a dense pattern, I was able to add this really cool texture of scalloped cutouts. At first, I was only thinking about adding texture to the planter, but I eventually realized that I could use the spheres to trace a curved profile. I kept making small adjustments until I got a nice gradual curve with even cutouts. Finally, I could use the 3D model of the planter to create a four-piece, 3D printable negative mold. I wanted to reuse the mold to make multiple planters, and I wasn't sure how much force it would take to separate the mold from the cured concrete. So, I printed the pieces with PETG, which is both stronger and less brittle than PLA. I printed the pieces at a relatively high surface resolution, specifically 0.1 millimeter layer heights, because I wanted to minimize the surface roughness and in turn, minimize how strongly the concrete would adhere to the mold. This made the print time a bit longer than you might expect for a piece of this size. Each piece of the mold took 6 hours and 45 minutes to print. Even though I printed at a high resolution, the surfaces still had that 3D printed texture, so I gave each piece a light sanding with 220 grit sandpaper, just to be safe. Then I could start hot gluing the pieces together to build the mold. I coated all the inside edges with silicone to ensure nice smooth edges and a watertight mold. I just used my finger to get the silicone into all the nooks and crannies and smooth it into a nice radius. The plastic container that I used to form the inside of the planter has this sort of concave bottom. So to ensure the drainage hole would be at the lowest point of the cavity, I filled this in with hot glue. Now that I had both pieces of the mold all built, I glued them down to a piece of melamine. I gave the silicone 24 hours to cure, and I was ready to pour some concrete. For this project, I used Quickcrete Pro Finish Crack Resistant Concrete Mix. This is a 4000 PSI fiber reinforced mix, but you could definitely make these planters with a more standard bag of concrete. In the grand scheme of concrete projects, this is a relatively small mold, so I sifted out the larger pieces of gravel before adding water and mixing up the concrete.
I filled the inner mold with water before adding the concrete because that empty container surrounded by concrete would try to float to the surface and break free from the base. Chopsticks came in really handy here to push the concrete into all the nooks and crannies. The nice thing about working with a mold this small is you can just shake and tap the entire thing by hand to vibrate out the air voids and get a nice uniform surface. After letting the concrete cure for 24 hours, the planter was ready to be taken out of the mold. Having only a day of curing under its belt, the concrete was still a little soft at this point, so I was able to knock off the sharp edges with some sandpaper. Then, I stuck it in a water bath to finish curing for another full day. In the meantime, I could clean off the 3D printed mold pieces in preparation for round two. Even though it took a bit of elbow grease to demold the planter, these things held up great. I just used my utility knife to cut away the dried glue and silicone, gave them a quick scrub in the sink, and they were ready to go. The only thing left to do was plant the planters. We had some succulents that were in dire need of repotting, and luckily, they fit the vibe of the planters perfectly. I have been itching to combine 3D printing and concrete ever since I got my printer, and I am so excited that this project actually worked. The textured concrete looks awesome, and the fact that the molds are reusable is super exciting. If I were to make these again, I think I would use a more tapered plastic container to mold the inside so that the hole could be a bit wider at the top. If you'd like to make these planters yourself, I have the STL files for the 3D printed mold available on my website, and I'll put a link to that in the description. This project is my entry into this year's Quick Crete One Bag Wonder Contest. The theme for this year's contest is holiday gifts, and I think concrete planters made with 3D printed molds would make a fantastic gift. If you have access to a 3D printer, you can make the most wild, unique looking planters with this technique in shapes that no one would expect to see made out of concrete. This proof of concept is my biggest takeaway from this project. I'm really excited to integrate 3D printing into more concrete projects, as well as other mediums, so be sure to hit that subscribe button to see what I'm up to next. Thanks for watching and have a great day.